Spidey, Ghosty, and Spin were in Antarctica to help Mr. Von Carnegie recover the lost treasure of adventurer Phineas Spinnaker. But a villain was there to steal the lost treasure, creating obstacles in Team Spidey's expedition. Check it out, we're in Antarctica. Visiting Antarctica for the first time, Spidey, Ghosty, and Spin got to interact with penguins before they embarked on the hunt for the mysterious treasure of Phineas Spinnaker. Look at the penguins. They're so cute. Look how they walk around. The museum curator, Mr. Von Carnegie, led the expedition, determined to find the lost treasure of Phineas Spinnaker and bring it back to the city. There's a lot of mystery surrounding this treasure. People don't even know exactly what it is. What is certain is that it is a valuable item. So much so that Mr. Von Carnegie sought the help of the three young superheroes. Legend has it that Phineas Spinnaker's ship, the Frolicking Otter, got stuck in an icy cave. The crew had to abandon the ship to get to safety. Spinnaker and his crew left everything behind, and now Team Spidey tries to recover an item that is now considered a treasure. Phineas Spinnaker called it the greatest treasure of the Antarctic. Just as they started the search, the ice shook. A piece of it broke off and drifted away with a baby penguin on it. Poor baby penguin, he's stuck. The web spinner suits, which protect Team Spidey from the cold, also have power blasters that allow them to fly, but needed a quick plan after realizing they could not land on the piece of ice. Look, that little piece of ice is really unstable. I don't think we can land on it. They built a bridge from ice webbing and got the little penguin back to its parents. Amazing. A bridge made of ice webs? Nicely done. But it wasn't long before they felt another tremor, and more pieces of ice broke off. I wonder why all this ice keeps breaking away. Ghosty noticed steam nearby and found hot water on the ice. It must be the reason why the ice is breaking off into the sea, and Team Spidey went on to investigate. Hot water flowed through a ditch that led them to a cave on the side of the mountain. And as they entered to search for more clues, they heard a familiar voice. Hurry up, melt faster! That sounds like Doc Ock. Turns out Doc Ock was there also to search for the treasure, and she had robots helping her melt the ice and find the ship. My new Octohots will melt through all this ice in no time. Phineas Spinnaker's treasure will be mine. Team Spidey held down Doc Ock using webs, but the Octohots quickly helped her break free. As the other Octohots chased Team Spidey, another one continued to melt the ice and create a passageway for Doc Ock. Ta-ta, spiders! That treasure will be mine for sure. Meanwhile, Team Spidey remained busy, fending off the Octohots as Doc Ock got away. Adding to Team Spidey's problems was a big piece of ice that fell and blocked the entrance to the tunnel. By the time Team Spidey and Mr. Von Carnegie got through the tunnel, Doc Ock was already on the ship, grabbing the treasure chest, the lost treasure of Antarctica, and now it's all mine. The remaining Octohot blasted a hole through the mountain, and Doc Ock managed to get out before Team Spidey took down the robot. That left only Doc Ock and the little robot Cal. Spidey, Ghosty, and Spin chased after the two, who found themselves drifting away on a piece of ice. Doc Ock made a last-ditch effort to get away, but her tentacle jets ran out of fuel, and she fell into Team Spidey's webs. Your treasure hunt is over, Ock. With the chest safe, Team Spidey finally got to find out what treasure was inside. The greatest treasure of Antarctica. It was Phineas Spinnaker's journal, which declared that the greatest treasure in all of the Antarctic is the penguins. We must do all we can to protect them and their frozen icy home. That's for sure. I totally agree.